Let's go ahead and take a look at the front of your poster. It's in our video. I've got you up right here. All right. And okay, so uh, Richard Martin Willstadter, or actually it would be pronounced Willstadter, um, was German, right? The typeface choice here is almost Celtic in nature, indicating an Irish origin. I'm not saying it is. I'm saying it definitely can be construed as, as a Celtic origin typeface. I think that's a mistake. I think if you're trying to, to use a typeface that points to um, national origin, um, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't use something that resembles um, a Celtic uh, typeface. I, theoretically, the best typeface to use to, to um, uh, indicate German origin would be a black letter typeface. But I think that would point some in some different kind of strange direction. And plus, it's not as legible. And I don't think this is as legible and readable as it could be either. My recommendation is to use a different uh, typeface on that. I mean, you don't even have to use a decorative typeface. I think you're creating meaning with the illustration and incorporating that into typography. So I, I don't necessarily think that the, the choice of typography in terms of creating meaning is something that, that really needs to be emphasized here. Um, maybe just a, a, a modern sans serif type page, the geometric sans serif. Um, I, I got to tell you, even Helvetica would work beautifully. And then what you could do is, is take the tagline and use a serif typeface there to create some uh, typographic variety. Okay, um, as far as execution goes, I think the concept is strong. I think the execution is a, is a little bit lacking though. And the reason being is because you've got this just kind of, it's not naturally, coming from the R, it's just kind of forced through there. And then it just kind of wraps around here and then comes all the way down here. You're using a lot here to represent a simple idea. And the simple idea is creating the plant since he was studying plant chlorophyll and plant pigment research. Um, so we're going to introduce plant, but do we need this, uh, this whole, this kind of convoluted way to say plant leaves, right? I think a, 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 an interesting way to do that would be just to kind of minimize that a little bit, somehow incorporate plant into the type without this kind of big winding thing that kind of wraps up and encloses his name, almost trapping his name within inside the plant. Right now, it seems like his life is trapped in his research. Do you see what I'm saying? He studied plant and, and, and research pigment, but right now it almost looks like his life is trapped in his research. And I think that's sending a, a, an inaccurate connotative message. So my recommendation is to a, a, as I said, I would try a different typeface. And then B, I would definitely try to incorporate this concept of a little bit more, um, just try to be a, like, just try to be as tasteful and minimal as possible instead of forcing this wrap around the entire name. Maybe even, well, I, don't, I hate to give any kind of direction because I don't want to, I want you to come up with your own concept as far as execution goes. Um, so I guess I'll leave it at this. It's just really try to wait to finesse the, the um, leaf plant matter foliage, as it were, into the typography without this kind of forced wrapping and just kind of really overdone. And I don't mean to sound discouraging at all, I, I'm just saying, I think that just to, to try to introduce a simple concept of foliage, this is really a convoluted, uh, a convoluted way of doing it. So my recommendation is to, just to kind of incorporate those two comments. I think the color choice is obvious. I mean, it's obvious, right? But I think it's done very well. So, um, so let's take it from there, okay? At this point, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'll be glad to make any necessary clarifications. Okay, great start. Thank you very much.